Welcome. So, many people come to me about wanting to make a change, uh, be it in their personal life or in their professional life. It could be to do with making some changes with their health, uh, their fitness, their relationships. Um, you know, it could be finding finding something else about themselves that's, that's sort of holding them back in regards to their own personal growth or development. Um, they could be wanting to make some changes at work, um, but just just feeling a little a little stuck. Um, whatever the context of the client comes to me uh, for, um, one thing that we do that we do talk about before we first get started um, is what we call. The, it's almost like the requirements for change. So, sort of the things that that are that are asked, um, almost like beliefs that we get the client, the individual to take on board before we actually go through the process of of creating the tools and resources for the individual to be able to have the things that they want to have. Um, so, the first thing, first thing, guys, it's really first thing is this whole notion of cause and effect. Um, you would have heard it. Um, you know, it might be, you would have heard it many times, I'm sure, um, but cause, the cause side of the equation basically means, you know, are you living, are you living at the side of life or on the side of life that um, is focusing on the results that you want? Are you, are you solution focused? Are you taking responsibility and bringing responsibility back inside yourself? Uh, that's what people do when they're at cause. Now, and on the opposite side of the equation is when we find ourselves at the effect or the effect side of life. So the effect side of life um, basically means that we're focused on the reasons why we don't have what we want, the reasons why things are going wrong. Uh, it's very much problem orientated. Um, it's almost like you know we're pushing the responsibility away from ourselves, you know, so it's, it's no, it's, it's not my fault, it's not, it's, I'm, not, I'm not the cause of this, it's somebody else's fault. Very, very disempowering, extremely disempowering. Um, uh, it's basically, you're handing your power, you're disenabling yourself to achieve the things that you want right now. So I, I always ask and we, we always challenge our clients about, you know, what side of the cause and effect equation of life are you on? And to get the results that you want, it's about asking yourself every day, how am I at cause? Uh, the second theme or the second requirement for, for change is around this whole notion of perception is projection. Now, I could probably spend a day talking about perception um, and, and how perception truly is projection, but let me just keep it really quite simple. Is that inherently what we don't have inside ourselves, we by nature need to project it out onto people and places around us. So what does that mean? So what it does mean is that what you notice around you, so what you notice around you, um, the, the, the dialogue or the conversations that you're having with people, the dialogue or conversation you're having at work, um, when you go to a party, what you notice about the energy in that party, you know, that's all based on your perception and that's all based on your ability to either what we call generalize, distort, delete things that are happening around us. And it goes through what we call a series of filters. Uh, I think that some of the more important filters are around your values, your own personal values, your own beliefs. Um, and you know, we also talk about how it goes through filters around time, space, matter, energy, and attitude. But long story short, guys, is that you cannot see outside yourself nothing more than what comes from inside yourself. So it's almost like the matrix, right? We, we, we basically create the things around us based on our own internal world. So I ask my clients every single day is, what is your perception? What are the things that you're noticing? So perception truly is projection. And this is not something that um, you, know, you have to believe, but something for you to consider. The third thing is around focus. Now, it's, it's, it seems quite simple, doesn't it, around, around focusing on the right things, but I would walk down the street and I could ask 10, 15, 20 people what it is that you want, and I would think, uh, and I've, I've done this many times before, that you know, 70, 80% of the, of the people that I would probably talk to would actually tell me what they don't want. 
um, which then detracts their focus from what they want to what they don't want. So it's around making sure that you're focusing on what you want. Not through positive mantras and all that sort of stuff, but generally focusing on exactly what it is that you want, not what you don't want. Because what you want and what you don't want are exactly the same thing. And we can go into more detail if I see you one-on-one -on -one or if you come to some of my workshops. And finally, the importance of taking action. So taking action is doing something each day that moves you forward that moves you toward a predetermined result. Um, sometimes people get a little confused about, about action. Now, in the business space, um, if you're running a small business, taking action isn't doing the invoicing. Taking action isn't, um, taking action isn't, you know, a plan. Thank you.